so now uh, after typing receiver underscore email dot get text it will take the receiver recipient's email address you have to send them okay so that for that purpose first of all you have to fetch the files from the array list so type in your data source class create object source is equal to new file data source uh, method and inside this method type here string outside the bracket a1 that is absolute path of the array list a1 dot get method i so it will fetch the files from the sources after that type in your mine body part message body part 2 that is the object of the mind body part equals to new mind body part and now this message body part 2 dot the method is set data handler this one set me data handler set this type new data and uh, so it will take the object ORC resource next copy this same copy it and paste it here message body part dot you have to set the file name that you want to send because uh, the files will be uh, will have same name when they are transferred so call the method dot set file name and the file name will be not the attachment but but the file name will be in the string format you have to convert it string a2 that is array list 2 because this array list consists the file name and not the absolute path so the method is again get i that is will take the file names appropriately now we have to create a multi-part object uh, oh we have already created multi-part so multi-part dot we have to add this body part to the message that is the attachment to the message so just you have to pass the object so it will attach the uh, attachments to the message and then you have to send the message so send message dot set content multi-part ok perfect uh, then with this done all you have to do is outside the for loop and uh, within the else loop uh, here you have to type the transport dot send method okay and it will send the message and if you want you can just display a dialog box that the message is show message dialog null comma message can be uh, the message with attachment is sent. Okay, just sorry. And after that, it will show a message. For try. Okay, where it is? The else block is not code. I just close the else here, and the else is gone. So it is the for loop is closed and these two things lines are between the else in the within the else block and just if you want you can type a message that uh, error if any error occurs the catch and triumph block will display it so we are ready to run the program and see the output okay uh, the program is running so there are no errors in it uh, we will just add some files here okay and each file this one attached one more from the desktop Eek. two files are attached and I will delete this file this file is deleted this is working for properly type in here the name use your own username that can be anything but gmail the gmail.com the password can be anything you have written your actual password and the recipient's address that can be expired at the rate gmail.com because this and you have to separate it with a comma and you can type it other gmail address 
you can even use a combo box here so that will fetch the email address stored in a database that can be another um, feature that you if you wish to send that is if you are having an employee uh, employee database and you want to send a mail to the, all the employees at the same time then you can just replace this text field with a combo box and then you can fetch the uh, email address directly from the database instead of typing here enhancement if you wish to add type in here subject this subject will be common to all hello party at my please at my uh, just type in any text message you want to type and the attachments are added you can attach anything but uh, not sure about the size how much gmail usually allows 25 mb of data you can try it if it seems more than it is a benefit and just click the send button it will fetch the actual files from the proper locations and not from the database okay from the locations and it will take some time to fetch them and send the mail uh, the email address I have written here is invalid so it, it has thrown an exception here that the username and password is not accepted and is not correct you can just replace it with your actual email address and try the code I hope uh, it will send it properly and uh, thanks for watching the video I hope you like it and you have learned something today take care have a nice day keep watching